New Caledonia is nearly 20,000 kilometers from Paris, yet the Pacific Island Territory has been since 1853 part of France. But after Sunday, the bond could be broken. New Caledonians will be asked whether they want their territory to accede full sovereignty and become independent. Opinion polls suggest those of European descent, like those on this rally in May, want to remain French. I think uh, Caledonia in France is the best that we can have. But the French state and the French president who visited New Caledonia earlier this year are officially neutral. That has a lot to do with history. In 1987, people of indigenous Kanak descent boycotted a referendum because they saw the process then as rigged in favour of French loyalists. The following year, on the outlying island of Ovir, supporters of independence resorted to violence. On the 22nd of April 1988, a big group of pro-independence Kanak men stormed the police station that then stood on this site, killing four policemen inside and taking a group of more than 20 others hostage. France sent in a military team. In the assault, two of that team were killed, as were 19 of the hostage takers. Some, it's now known, were executed. This time, France is determined both sides see the process as fair and accept the result. Only French settlers with a decades-long history in New Caledonia will be eligible to vote. And should the result be no to independence, independent supporters will have two further chances with follow-up referendums in 2020 and 2023. So far, this time around, political leaders have managed the process well. Kanak people especially feel independence is long overdue. New Caledonia was taken by the French in 1853 there was no agreement from the indigenous people, no treaty. And supporters of independence think mining big nickel deposits would be enough for New Caledonia to survive economically. But loyalists doubt that. About $1.5 billion a year flows from Paris to New Caledonia's capital, Namir. France accounts for 15% of annual GDP. Losing that would be a catastrophe. Many people would lose their jobs, the public service would collapse. New Caledonians are accustomed to a certain standard of living. It would all come down at once. Unless China stepped in. In past decades, Pacific Island nations have been reliant on European benefactors and neighbours in Australia, New Zealand and the United States. But China's spending and influence across the Pacific region is growing and New Caledonia, independent of France, would quickly become a target. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Ovir, New Caledonia.